The Rio Grande Valley, or RGV for short, has a special place in my heart. It is the place where I was born and raised. It is also home to some of nature's treasures. Come join me as we explore this area together. This is travel, step by step. The Lower Rio Grande Valley, commonly known as the Rio Grande Valley, or locally as the Valley, is a socio-cultural region spanning the border of Texas and Mexico, located in a floodplain of the Rio Grande near its mouth. The region includes the southernmost tip of South Texas and a portion of northern Tamaulipas, Mexico. It consists of the Brownsville, Harlingen, Westlaco, Farr, McAllen, Edinburgh, Mission, San Juan, and Rio Grande City metropolitan areas in the United States and the Matamoros, Rio Bravo, and Reynosa metropolitan areas in Mexico. These cities are surrounded by many small neighborhoods or colonias. The area is generally bilingual in English and Spanish with a fair amount of Spanglish due to the diverse history of the region. A large seasonal influx occurs of winter Texans, Texans who come down from the north for the winter and then go back up north before summer arrives. The valley is historically reliant on agribusiness and tourism. Cotton, grapefruit, sorghum, maize, and sugarcane are its leading crops and the region is the center of citrus production and the most important area of vegetable production in the state of Texas. The lower Rio Grande Valley encompasses landmarks that attract tourists. Popular destinations include Laguna Atascosa National Wildlife Refuge, Santa Ana National Wildlife Refuge, Benson Rio Grande Valley State Park, South Padre Island, Brazos Island, and the Port Isabel Lighthouse. On today's tour, we will focus on South Padre Island. South Padre Island is a resort town in Cameron County, Texas. It is part of the Brownsville, Harlingen Metropolitan Statistical Area. The population was 2,816 at the 2010 census. The town is located on South Padre Island, a barrier island along the Texas Gulf Coast, accessible via the Queen Isabella Causeway from the town of Port Isabel. South Padre Island is named after Jose Nicolas Bailly, a Catholic priest and settler. South Padre Island is home to many water sport activities. Fishing is also popular, with the Texas International Fishing Tournament held in late summer. In March, the island is a popular spring break destination for college students from around the world. The rest of the year, it is a popular family resort destination, with July being the most crowded. Now that we have gone over a brief history of the Rio Grande Valley, and in particular with a focus on South Padre Island, let's discuss some of the things that I would do if I had a weekend to visit South Padre Island. Sea Turtle Inc. is a great place. According to their website, they were originally formed to aid in the protection and recovery of the endangered Camps Ridley Sea Turtle. Their mission has now expanded into three parts. Rescue, rehabilitate and release injured sea turtles, educate the public, and assist with conservation efforts for all sea turtle species. Now the Rio Grande Valley is very famous internationally for bird watching. So a visit to the South Padre Island Birding, Nature Center, and Alligator Sanctuary would be a perfect place to not only see birds, but to see butterflies and other natural wildlife of South Texas. Now, if you have children or are young at heart, a great place to also consider visiting is Gravity Park, where there are many activities for everyone in the family. They include things like go-kart track, a mini golf and ferris wheel there is also a 140 foot reverse bungee so these are activities that you can do whenever you have time um, and want to enjoy uh, exciting exhilarating activities 
The Port Isabel Lighthouse is a historic lighthouse located in Port Isabel, Texas. It was built in 1852 to guide ships through the Brazos-Santiago Pass to Port Isabel. The lighthouse was added to the National Register of Historic Places on April 30th, 1976. It's also a great place to take pictures. So if you would like to take pictures in that area, you can do so at any time of the day, basically. And either way, whatever time of day you take pictures, it looks beautiful, especially at sunset, in my opinion. Now, obviously, there is the option of doing water sports. And one of the places where you can rent water sport equipment would be from South Padre Island Water Sports. They have great reviews and uh, that's a place you'd want to consider getting your water sports if you want to do things like jet skiing and other things. Also, there is, it's needless to say, going on the beach is a beautiful thing to do. Walking on the beach, exercising on the beach, building sand castles, all of these things are wonderful for the whole family and for everyone to enjoy. You can also do a trip, a fishing trip as well. And fishing trips can be uh, arranged in certain places like Parrot Eyes Water Sports. You can have an, a personal captain who would guide you through all the, uh, the waters in the area. Or if you decide you wanna do fishing on your own, there is a pier in Port Isabel where you can go and um, get some bait and do fishing on your own on the pier. Now, obviously, these are not all the attractions that South Padre Island has to offer. There are so many things out there. There are things that other people may recommend to do that are not on the list of what I have mentioned. But what I have mentioned are the things that I would do if I had just a weekend to spare on South Padre Island. So keep that in mind. So now that we have gone over some of the attractions, Let's go ahead and start our VR tour with the focus on South Padre Island. Are you ready? All right, welcome to South Padre Island, Texas, and the coast of the rest of mainland Texas. You can see South Padre Island right here as marked by the cursor and also by the pin, the red pin. And you can see the Queen Isabella Causeway that links the rest of mainland Texas to the island. This is the Gulf of Mexico, this body of water right here. Let's start off by looking at Port Isabel, which is uh, on the uh, causeway before reaching South Padre Island. You can see here, this is the causeway that leads all the way to South Padre Island. I want to start off by looking at the Port Isabel Lighthouse State Historic Site, which is right here in this block. So I'm going to go ahead and tilt the earth down. And we're going to move forward. Now you can see that everything appears to be flat. In my other videos, there are actually animated 3D images of all of the buildings. But here in South Padre Island, it appears that's not the case. So we will go to do street views of all the different areas to get an appreciation of what it looks like. Now, as you can see, this is the lighthouse right in front of me. Going in this direction over here, which is east, it will lead to uh, South Padre Island. But right now we're looking at the lighthouse and we're getting a closer look. There are gates that are open leading to the lighthouse, and, but in this particular time it is closed, we're doing construction. Um, at the moment, the lighthouse is completed, um, but I think at the moment of when this image was taken, they were still doing construction. So I think that's why the gate is closed, but it's already open um, at the moment. So again, we're getting another different view from here. Let's see here. Well, this is the, let's see, I'm trying to see if we can get it. There we go, a little bit of an issue loading the images, 
but uh, you can get an appreciation for the lighthouse right there um, and it's it's beautiful um, it's a beautiful lighthouse especially at sunset that's when I recommend taking the pictures now there as you can see is the causeway it is very long um, and uh, we will be crossing that causeway in a bit when we go look at South Padre Island. I want to go ahead and take a look at the pier where there's a lot of fishing that can be done. So we're gonna exit this image here. And the pier is in this area. You see how long this pier is? You can do a lot of fishing from this area. And um, there's even boat rentals. Uh, you can re uh, rent like a pirate ship. There's a restaurant in this area. Um, so when you go to this pier, as you can see, there's a restaurant and a pier. And um, it's very nice. I remember coming here a lot as a child and coming to go fishing at this pier. Um, sometimes you, you're able to get a captain to captain a ship for you or a boat for you while you would go fishing and you would get on one of these boats here. There are other places where you can do that. I mentioned it in the video earlier. One is called uh, Paradise. Um, so that's another place, but you can also do it here at the pier at Port Isabel. So there's deep sea, bay, and pier fishing, which is where we are. We're on the pier. So loading some images, you can see the water looks pretty nice. And yeah, you can um, bring your fishing pole, rent, uh, get some bait, um, and start fishing. Um, of course, you gotta, you need to have a license, so make sure you get a license for fishing before you actually uh, try fishing. And uh, one place you can get a fishing license, you can get it at Walmart. You can also get it at Academy Sports and Outdoors. Uh, there are many different places where you can get a fishing license. So make sure you do that. It's very important. All right, so let's go ahead and look at this causeway. Now, of course, we're crossing the causeway. It appears like we're going against traffic, <laughs> but um, it, it's long. We are not going to cross the entire causeway looking at these still images. I will go ahead and speed through by going into a 3D view. But here, we're following, we're following the causeway going to South Padre Island, I will increase the speed. And it'll lead us to one of the most popular landmarks when people arrive here, which is the South Padre Island sign. There's a sign in the front that says, welcome to South Padre Island. Should be in this area. And there it is. So uh, many people take pictures in front of this sign. It says South Padre Island, Texas. And so um, if you'd like, it's, it's a popular place to stop and take pictures. Just be careful when you stop somewhere to take pictures here. Mm, you know, it's, it can be, there's a lot, of, a lot of traffic in this area. So and just make sure you're careful, but you can take pictures in this area. And many people do. So this is already leading into South Padre Island in general. You can see there are hotels and condominiums in this area. There's a water park called Schlitterbahn. I didn't mention that in the video earlier, but it is one of two Schlitterbahns, I believe, in the state of Texas. The other being New Braunfels. It's a, it's a water park. The main one is in New Braunfels, Texas. So basically getting around the island is quite simple. You can basically go in essentially two directions, either north or south. And right here, we're looking in the north direction. There are different restaurants along the way. There's a restaurant called Yummies. It's a good breakfast restaurant. It's in this plaza area up here somewhere. And uh, I would recommend that restaurant that you, you try it out for yourself. It is pretty good. So there are other things to do um, in the video I did not mention. 
in the beginning at least, I did not mention that you could rent golf carts uh, and other carts to ride around the island. Uh, there are gift shops like the Mirage, which I remember going to often as a, as a child. Um, there are more gift shops here. All along this area, there are gift shops. You can rent different types of vehicles and go along the beach area here. So this is a little bit of um, Sao Padre Island area. There are more, as I said, there are more shops. You can find many of these golf carts in the area. So this is just, uh, like I said, a little bit of the area. You have what you need here in uh, CVS Pharmacy. There's even a Blue Marlin supermarket. If you want to go to a big supermarket, you'd have to go back to Port Isabel where they have um, HEB, and which is a big uh, food mark, um, supermarket, and where they have Walmart as well. They don't have those on the island itself. All right, so I did talk about a place called Gravity Park. Um, Gravity Park is somewhere near this area. It's a place where they have like um, reverse bungee and go-karts and things like that. Many people go there. I can see it up ahead a little bit in the distance. So we'll try to just uh, speed it up a little bit just so you can kind of get a glimpse of what it looks like. If you have kids or, you know, you're young at heart, you may want to go to this place. Um, you can kind of appreciate the area where there's um, golf cart ramps right there. You can see golf cart ramps. And you can see a Ferris wheel. You can see this bungee thing, reverse bungee. So there are many things to do and to appreciate in that area as well. Now, Sea Turtle Inc. I'm going to look for that. Sea Turtle Inc. We did discuss that a little bit in the beginning. It's for education, preservation of turtles. Uh, we're getting a better view of South Padre Island from up above. You can see this is at the beach. You can see also the Gulf of Mexico, and you can see the Bay Area. Texas is over there. I mean, this is Texas, but the rest of Texas is over there. So Sea Turtle, Inc. We can go ahead and go to the street level of Sea Turtle, Inc. And it's in this area right here, Sea Turtle, Inc. Now it doesn't look like we can get any images inside Sea Turtle Inc. at the moment, um, but I would recommend you do visit this place. It is quite nice. Definitely a place you wanna visit when you're on the beach. This is Sea Turtle Inc. And there really isn't a whole lot in this area. Perhaps now it is a little bit more developed. This image might be a little bit outdated, but, um, it's still nice uh, to to go to this area. The area is is definitely developing. It's, it's it's wonderful. So, what else do we need to look at? Well, we do want to look at the beach itself, of course. Um, so let's look at look at the beach. Let's go take a gander at the beach. Kind of go on the beach, uh, see what it looks like. Let's see if we can find a good image here. So I'm just looking for a good image of, of the beach. Anybody who took a good image here? Let's 
Well, this image is a little bit blurry, but it still looks nice. This looks like maybe it could be in the morning. Mm, and going to the beach is very, very nice. There are some seasons where you may find vegetation coming from the ocean. Mm, you may find jellyfish or they're called Portuguese man o' war. So always be in the lookout for those. Um, but there are many areas of the beach that are don't have those things. I mean, you can take a look at these satellite images. You don't really see um, this vegetation along the satellite images. So this looks like it's a home. Okay, here we go. So there are like these little decks that lead to the beach and you can see they're very nice. People get their chairs, they relax on the beach, they build sand castles and the water does look pretty nice overall. Okay. Now, Let's go ahead and look for another place, which is the South Padre Island Birding and Nature Center. So the South Padre Island Birding and Nature Center. Interestingly enough, it is very close to Sea Turtle Inc. Sea Turtle Inc. is right here, if you remember. So the Birding and Nature Center is right here. You can go through this area and there, there's boardwalks along the way where you can see a lot of birds. They like to be in the trees. You can see a lot of animals. There are even alligators, I believe, in the area too. So it looks like they have like a little gift shop, little area here, the Wall of Honor. And you could go outside and walk on this boardwalk and just look at that. That is very beautiful. So this is an area you'd like to come, probably you should actually come and visit this area. Uh, look at some of the wildlife. Some of the wildlife here is, is uh, unique to this area. So I think that you would, should definitely make the trip here, especially if you're interested in birding, wildlife, or, or want to get a really close look at what the nature is in this area. It's definitely very, very nice. All right, so of course there are many other things you can do in South Padre Island. I only mentioned a few of the things that I would do if I had a weekend uh, to spend in the island itself. So many activities to do, and I'm sure that uh, you have a, a lot to choose from. I mentioned a few of those things. This tour has been a focus on South Padre Island, Texas. Of course, um, it's part of the Rio Grande Valley of Texas, my home, uh, my region. But um, South Padre Island is definitely the place to be. You can come here by visiting, by flying into the McAllen Miller International Airport, the Harlingen Airport or the Valley International Airport or the Brownsville SPI Airports. Those are ways to get here to South Padre Island, Texas. Next on the list, I will do Seoul, South Korea. That will be the next city on the list. So get ready for Seoul. Thank you so much for uh, watching this video. Please like and subscribe. Tell your friends about my channel. And I hope you have a great day or a great time wherever you are in the world. This has been Travel Step by Step.